What's up, everyone? As you can see from today's title, we're going to be talking about who currently inspires me as a YouTube creator. A lot of different things and people have given me inspiration over the years, but one person in particular has given me a lot of inspiration the last two or three months. Those of you that know me and have followed my channel will probably be really surprised by this, but that person is none other than Mr. Beast. Now, I'm sure you're telling yourself, who isn't inspired by Mr. Beast, right? He's like in the top 10 largest content, uh, YouTube content creators currently with uh, what? He's got 104 million subs. I think he comes in at number seven. At least that was what it was last time I looked. His acts of kindness and generosity has no limits, right? Like it's amazing some of the stuff that he's done. His ability to spend money, to make money, uh, is absolutely amazing. Of course, Mr. Beast is inspirational. Should be to everyone. But the Mr. Beast that most everyone is familiar with now is not the Mr. Beast that I'm talking about. Now, don't get me wrong. I love seeing what he does. I, I love seeing, uh, you know, his generosity. Like I said, it is very inspirational. But the Mr. Beast content that is currently giving me a lot of inspiration is the very, very early Mr. Beast content on YouTube. I'm talking 2014, 2015, maybe even some stuff from 2013. I think uh, some of his earliest content on his channel might go back to 2013 or uh, 2012. Uh, his Minecraft videos and stuff like that. But anyway, that content has given me a ton of inspiration over the past few months. His early content is very relatable as a small YouTube creator because you can see his early struggles with growing on YouTube. You can see him experimenting with his commentary. You can see him experimenting with his thumbnails. You can see him experimenting with his content. His very first videos start out with uh, Minecraft uh, gameplay. Then he switches to more uh, FPS shooters with random commentary inserted in then he finally completely deviates from the gaming genre where he's doing more uh, challenges and giveaway like the stuff that you see now. But it didn't start out that way. It started out with him just playing games and talking. It started out with him playing games and talking even less. You see him going from early on uh, playing games with commentary about what he's doing to uh, him actually inserting more of himself and his personality into his content. It was a very subtle shift over a course of a few years. You start seeing him uh, do face cams. You start seeing him do videos that was nothing but him. You start seeing him do uh, gags and things like that. Uh, you start seeing him talking more directly to the viewer. But it all goes back to my philosophy that uh, I truly believe that injecting your personality into your content is what makes it yours. It's uh, it's what makes it relatable and likable to other people. If you think about your friends and people that you gravitate to is based on their personalities, right? Like you gravitate towards people that you click with. You gravitate towards people that have good, good personalities or something about that person person that you like and that you enjoy. Now, not everyone is going to gravitate to my personality. I totally get that. The personalities clash. Some people like, you know. Uh, someone else's personality will prevent them from liking my personality. It's just the way it is. But uh, either way, I really feel like to set yourself apart from everyone else in a sea of videos, you really have to insert more of you into it to uh, kind of break out from everyone else because uh, you are the only you, right? I mean, you're the only you. Everyone is a little bit different, so... Uh, that is definitely something that I've been working really hard on. I've been um, studying and reading up on and looking at things. And I've been checking out uh, a lot of Mr. Beast's early videos. I really enjoyed them. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy the current stuff now, too. But it's not very relatable as a small YouTube creator. Let's just face it. Uh, he's got an unlimited budget, like, or almost. It seems like an unlimited budget, but he's got a ton of money that he can pour into videos, millions of dollars of some of these videos. So it's not as relatable as a small uh, creator, but it's still likable. But I really enjoy the relatable stuff. I like seeing how his channel grew, and it grew a ton. I mean, we're talking from like, maybe it started really kind of catching on and gaining traction in 2015 to 2022. So uh, you're talking about seven years. You know, I, I've seen videos on his channel where he talks about where he had his uh, 1,500 subs, 2,000 subs, 6,000 subs, 7,000 subs. 
uh, celebration or, or videos that he did about it. So anyway, it's really inspirational to look at and to see where he started knowing where he's at now. And I think uh, going back, I recognize some of the things that he did to uh, to help that transition. Now, I'm not saying everyone's going to be that way. You know, I certainly don't expect to, to have the same type of growth that he has. But I think he was definitely on to some concepts early on that really kind of helped initiate that growth. And if you know anything about Mr. Beast, you will know that he is definitely a student of YouTube. He put in a lot of time and effort into studying the analytics and things like that and which analytics were very important, which analytics you needed to look at and that sort of thing. So anyway, I just wanted to share really fast uh, like I said, who inspired me on YouTube? Who inspires me now? There's a lot more. There's tons and tons of people that I've seen little bits and pieces of that I like and have enjoyed and stuff like that. But uh, this is just one very small aspect of it. A big aspect for me right now as I try to figure out how to grow the channel and move it forward. Anyway, guys, love all of you. Thank you so much for the support. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about people inserting their personality into their content. Do you think it helps? Do you think it makes it more relatable? Do you like that? Do you have any ideas on how uh, someone could put more of their personality into their content? Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Peace.